Hello everyone, this is Sri Harshita. So today I'm here to explain uh, the digital voltmeter using Arduino. So this is my circuit. I have written my entire code in Arduino IDE app. Now I'm going to simulate my circuit uh, using online website tinkercad.com. Uh, I'll start with the components that I have used here. I have used an Arduino Uno board, a breadboard. And for my power supply, I have used this component. And to display various voltage uh, reading values, I have used an LCD 16 into 2, that means 16 columns and 2 rows. So these are the components that I have used. Uh, other than that, I have used a 220 ohms resistor and a 10, 1 mega ohms resistor and 10 kilo ohms resistor. So, uh, I'll start with the connections of LCD. I have connected uh, the LCD DB45672, 5432 pins of Arduino Uno board. I have connected RS and enable pins to 12th and 11th of Arduino Uno board respectively. Then I have grounded GND, VO and RW to the negative terminal of the breadboard. And I have connected one LED to the negative terminal of the breadboard and one uh, LED to uh, one terminal of my 220 ohms resistor and the other terminal I have grounded it with the negative terminal of the breadboard. So this ends our LCD connections. Then I am going to give a, uh, connections to the my voltage divider circuit. Here I have taken two uh, resistors and built a voltage divider circuit. I have constructed the circuit to maximize my voltage readings range. So whenever I am using my Arduino Uno board, uh, my power supply will be of 5 volts. So uh, when I am constructing a digital voltmeter, uh, I need more uh, voltages to be read. To maximize the ranges of the voltages, I have constructed this um, voltage divider circuit. Here I am considering uh, 10, uh, 1 one resistor as 1 mega ohms and the other resistor as 10 kilo ohms. So I will consider my greater value of R1 and the other resistor will be my R2. So we can change the values based upon the readings that we want. Uh, and I am connecting my pause, uh, power supply terminal to one end of the res uh, 1 mega ohms resistor. And I am grounding the negative terminal of the power supply. And the junction of both the resistors, I am connecting it to the analog pin A0 of the Arduino Uno board where I am going to read my analog voltage value and then uh, display it on my LCD. So the other end of the uh, 10 kilo uh, ohm resistor, I am grounding it. Later, uh, here we need to remember that the negative terminal of the breadboard should be connected to the ground of the Arduino Uno board and the positive terminal of the breadboard should be connected to the plus 5 volt supply of the Arduino Uno board. So this ends our connection. I already copied my code here. So hash include uh, liquid crystal dot h. I'm, as I'm using L LCD display, I will be using this library. Later, I'm going to initialize the pins that I'm connecting to LCD on the Arduino board. So I'm connecting 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2 pins. So I'm initializing them. Later, I'm... Uh, declaring all the variables of float data type and input voltage I am initializing with 0, 0.0 temperature 0, 0.0 and as I already told you my R1 is 1 mega ohms and R2 is 10 kilo ohms. Now void setup serial begin 9600 baud rate I am using this uh, for uh, displaying the values of uh, voltages on serial monitor. You can completely avoid it and only use LCD for displaying but I have also declared it. So LCD begin 16 comma 2 LCD print digital voltage first I'm printing digital voltage voltmeter on my LCD to know uh, that it's a basic voltage uh, reader. So uh, later uh, I'm using float for analog value. I'm storing analog read A0 in analog value. So whatever uh, voltage I'm reading at analog pin A0 I'm storing it in the variable analog value. Then I'm uh, declaring an extra variable temp where I will be calculating my input voltage. So whatever the value I'm reading it from analog pin and I'm multiplying it with 5 because here my supply will be 5 volts. 
So I am multiplying it with 5 and dividing it with 1024 which is 2 power 10. Here we have 10 divisions of current. So I am using uh, 2 power 10 1024. Later my final input voltage will be the extra variable temp that I have calculated above divided by R2 by R2 plus R1. This I am doing it because I have created an extra voltage divider circuit. So now calculation part is done. Now we have to display that on our LCD screen. If my input is less than 0 0.1 which means very nearly equal to 0, I will display my input voltage is equal to 0. So for that I have created this if loop. If not, if it is greater than or equal to 0 0.1, I am going to print on my serial monitor that V is equal to. Later, I will print input voltage. This value of this variable will be assigned to V is equal to. On the LCD display, I am setting my cursor to 0 comma 1. That means the second row and then I am displaying voltage is equal to. Then LCD print input voltage whatever value is assigned to this variable input voltage will be displayed on my LCD and I am giving a delay of 1000 nanoseconds. So this is the code I have written. Now I am going to start simulation. So whenever I start my simulation as I have given digital voltmeter in the first line and the second line voltage is equal to as you can see here the power supply voltage is 8.80 volts. Here 8.88 there is a slight error of, uh, uh, that is occurred due to this voltage divider circuit and the resistors that we are using. Now I will change the value to 3.60 volts and here 3.45. 14.8 and here 14.79 so this is how we can display the voltages uh, and uh, this is a digital voltmeter thank you